Okay, so I've been playing around with the emulators on Raspberry Pi 4. Uh, I've still not got any official cooling. I'm not using any cooling for this video, but I have ordered one. I'll put a picture of it on the screen now. So this video is to show you how to run uh, Mednafen, which is the multi-emulator uh, on the Pi 4. Uh, and it's also got Mednaf, which is a, uh, an interface to allow you to use it a bit easier. So if you want to install it, first of all, you want to go to the terminal. You want to, in my case, switch on my keyboard. And you want to type in sudo apt-get update, just to check that you've got the latest version of everything first. Okay, so when that's done, uh, you want to put in sudo apt-get install mednafen Now I've got the latest version and it's already installed so obviously mine's just saying it's upgraded nothing um, but uh, after that what you want to do is go to uh, accessories and no sorry preferences and add remove software and then in the top here you need to type mednaf and in this case you're putting a double F in. Okay, so this is the front end for Mednafen uh, and it just makes it a bit easier to use. Um, so you need to make sure that's ticked and then click apply and then click OK. Now if you close down terminal, go to start, go to games, you should have Mednaf in there. Uh, as an icon. Um, if you haven't then shut down the computer, restart it and it usually appears. Uh, what I've done is put it on the desktop so if I go to games right click on Mednaf I can add to desktop and you can see there's an icon there. Now you don't really need that icon uh, because uh, the ROMs will launch Mednaf. So if I double tap on ROMs uh, you can see I've got some folders here for different systems so I'm going to do just SNES today. I'm going to do other systems in in other videos um, but this is more just to show you how to install Mednaf and also more importantly how to get a controller to work with it because it's a bit different with the controller it's fine but it's just a bit different way of doing it so if I double click on Arkanoid you can see that it comes up there are some shortcuts you can use uh, F10 turns the sound on and off uh, F12, escape and F12 is to exit uh, although you can just go up to the the X at the top there as well uh, and also Alt and Enter gives you a less cluttered screen so it's just the game. There's obviously loads more in there that you can use. Let's just switch that back so I'll keep the interface there um, but uh, they're more sort of in-depth and I was just trying to keep this basic so just to get an emulator working on it really. So the, the bit that is a bit more confusing but, but not that bad. Once you know it, it's fine. Uh, if you do Alt, Shift and 1, you can see it says Gamepad on the bottom of the screen there. So I've got an Xbox 360 wired controller plugged in uh, and all I have to do is tell it what controls I want to use uh, for this particular system for the SNES. So Gamepad up. So if I press up, you'll notice that it comes up with a 2 on the right hand side. Press up again, uh, it will ignore if you use the same button more than once, it just ignores it. So we'll do the same for everything. So down, press it twice. Left, press it twice. Right, press it again. Uh, and then select. Uh, start. So we've got Y left, uh, and I'm going to use X on the um, Xbox controller because I think that's more similar to this, the original SNES controller. But you see, when I press it, we get a 1 and a 2, so I'm keeping pressing the same button, but then we've got rapid fire as well, 1 and 2. So just keep, I press that four times, that X button now. So B, I'm going to use the B button, and I'll press it, go all the way through, do the rapids. So now I've got X, uh, I'm going to use the Y for that. Keep going, and then the A button, I'm going to use the A for that. And then once it's all done, oh, left shoulder. So 
So I'll press that and press it again. Right shoulder, press it, press it again. So that's all configured now. So if I hit start, then I can start the game, press start again. I can change the icons and everything, uh, change the options rather. Uh, hit start on one player. Skip past this bit. And here we go. And uh, I think it's the B button speed. Yeah, if you hold the B button, it speeds it up. So we'll just do a little bit of this just to show that it works absolutely fine. Uh, and again, this is with no cooling, but I have my new cooling ordered. Uh, and I've also ordered an official power supply as well, um, just because if I'm going to use a fan on it, uh, I figure I'm better off using uh, the 3.1 amp power supply as opposed to the 2.4 which I've been using for all my videos up until this date which to be fair has been fine but if things are officially supported then it's better to do that now there is oh. just clear that level there we go so let's quit out of that and let's put another game on so again, we're staying in this same folder, uh, so where the ROMs are for SNES. So Cannon Fodder, it's a better version on the Amiga than this. I need to really get an Amiga emulator running on here because there's several games I want to play uh, on the Amiga system. So just hit A to skip past all that and hit Start. And there's, I think, mainly two buttons on this, uh, which will be A is for movement. So what we'll do is, so you, they're basically your men will run towards the arrow and then you press the B button to shoot. Okay, and you generally you're running past enemies so that they've got less chance of hitting you. I'll just do two levels of this game. And also the, uh, or in my case, my X button is the map. So if I want to see what the map's like, I can tap that once I'm in the game. Here we go, so tap that, and then you can see uh, what sort of route you want to take. It doesn't show you where anything is, but uh, it just gives you an idea of how big the map is. So let's get this guy sneaking up on us. You can't shoot when you're in the water. Uh, and there's hand grenades and all sorts of things later on in this game. But it is, it's a much better game with the mouse. Um, so that's why I really want to play it on the Amiga. Do I go around the top? I think I can. See if we can get a clean sheet and keep all my people. anymore. Huh, have I missed someone? I obviously have. Okay, well you get the idea of that game anyway. Uh, as I say, much better played with a mouse. Then last one is Mega Man X to try. And then I'll go through what uh, what systems are supported by Mendefen, uh, and there is a lot on there. Um, I thought I'd just try the SNES first, but one of my favourite ones is Game Boy Advance because there's some really good games on that because it was obviously a more recent system, but it's very low res graphics. Uh, it's got some really good gameplay in there. There's a, an ISS game which is superb uh, soccer, uh, which is really really good. So let's just do a little bit of this. I don't know if the X and Y or X shoots. Uh, B jumps, left and right shoulders don't seem to do anything. Oh. Oh, nice quick jumping. Oh, I've got him.
I'm going to jump over that, I take it. Oh, no, not when that's coming. <laughs> okay, so that's Mega Man X as well. So let's quit out that, go back to the interface. Uh, so if I just click on Mednaf, there you go, we've got the interface here. And if I go to systems, you can see there's various different things that are already installed on here. Uh, PlayStation, I haven't, well, I tried it, but I the game I wanted to play, Dave Mirror BMX, didn't run. Um, it said it was too big, so I'm going to try a different game on that. Um, but several of the others have worked, and as I said, Game Boy Advance is the best one so far because it was a system I owned, and there were some really good games on that. But I'll show them in another video. This was mainly to show you how to install it on the Pi 4 uh, and also how to set it up with the controller because I think the controller is the bit that people might have struggled with because it is a bit weird to redefine the controller and also because it works with a wired Xbox 360 controller they're very cheap to buy at the moment um, uh, and it may work with your existing controller as well. Anyway, I uh, hope this helps and thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.